it's time for an unboxing. Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. I have some very exciting news to share with you today. I have partnered with OwnTech Laser and I am very excited to be adding a CO2 laser to my shop. This laser was delivered yesterday, hopefully without a scratch. There is a small hole that I found on one side. I'll put a picture here. Uh, looks like maybe a, a fork of a forklift poked a little hole in it, but I think it's up high enough that uh, it's not going to be any damage. But today I'm going to get this thing out of the crate and see if I can get it off this pallet and we'll take a closer look. If you get one of these crates delivered, there are some hand holes or finger holes on each side. I'll put a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you have a good friend and uh, lots of headroom in your shop, you can unscrew all these screws around the bottom and very carefully lift this off and set it aside. In my case, since I'm going to be doing this by myself, I'm going to start by taking the top off and removing each side panel as I go and then try to work it off the pallet that way. Okay, I got this thing all unwrapped and managed to get it off of the pallet. Uh, I will say there was one little disappointing thing though. Earlier in the video I mentioned where it looked like the crate had a hole where a fork from a forklift had punctured it. And when I looked in the hole and stuck my hand in there, I could just feel cardboard and stretch wrap. And I thought, well, it doesn't look like it did any damage or at least you couldn't tell it from looking at the crate. But then once I got into it, I could see that the, uh, the hole was basically over here on this corner. And it apparently had pushed this thing and twisted it. Uh, this thing was screwed down to the pallet and a couple of screws were broke out. And it did kind of bend up some of the sheet metal over there on that corner, which is making some things rub and stuff like that. But I'm going to be able to uh, tweak on it a little bit and uh, get all that figured out. I think that's, I've thoroughly checked the machine as far as all the main mechanical parts and everything. Everything seems to move smooth and I don't think there's any damage to the main frame, the gantry or anything like that. The tube was fine. It's just some of these outer cabinets which are thin sheet metal, probably about 18 gauge sheet metal. Uh, it doesn't take much to bend them up. So it's just unfortunate that some idiot with a forklift uh, mishandled this thing. But at least it's no worse than it is, and I'm sure it's still going to be a uh, great machine. All right, enough about that. Let's get talking about what model this is. I went with the AF2435-80. And what that means is that it is an automatic focus. That's the AF. The 24 by 35 means that it basically has about a 24 by 35 inch bed or 600 millimeters by 900 millimeters for uh, my friends across the pond. And of course the 80 mean that means that it's a uh, 80 watt tube in the back. So should be uh, should be a nice little unit. I am so excited to have this here in my shop. I've been wanting one of these a long time and uh, really excited to have it. So I've got it here where I can, uh, is, this isn't going to be its final resting place. I've, I've just got it where I can still easily roll it around and I can spin it around and show you all the sides. But we've got the uh, cover here raises up. Uh, the uh, down below here in the bed and I'll show some uh, pictures here as I'm talking. But there was 26 of these little uh, little slats. I guess these are, looks like they're aluminum. Uh, so there's 26 of those. So I've got all of those put in there. And then there's also a honeycomb bed uh, that fits in there nicely as well. 
It does have a uh, little pass-through front door here. You've got one of these in the front, one in the back. This one I had to fiddle around with uh, after I got the keys off. Uh, I think part of when it got hit with the forklift, some of this got a little twisted and stuff, so I had to fiddle with that. And I think probably you, they have these where there's a key where you can lock these, and I, I totally get that if you've got small kids or something like that. In my case, it's just me and my dog Jack, and Jack doesn't have opposable thumbs, so there's no danger of him uh, getting into this thing. So I think I may end up replacing these with just something with a knob. I think uh, I saw somebody in the Facebook group do that, and that looked like that was pretty handy. Um, this other part right here, uh, all of this underneath here, here you can see I haven't even... Uh, I haven't even taken all the foam out of it. But uh, there you got your chain for the uh, automatic focus. The, the motor will move all four corners at once and raise and lower that. The uh, automatic focus is right here. Again, I'll take some pictures to show up here in the corner where you can see that. Again, some of this stuff I haven't even uh, pulled the little socks off of them yet, but I did move back and forth and check to make sure that uh, none of that was damaged. Let me spin this thing around and we'll take a look at one of the other sides. Okay, here's one of the sides. You can see you've got the, uh, the little uh, USB things. You also got an internet connection here if you want to hook that up. Uh, you can put your flash drive in one and then connect your computer to the other. Like I said, I, I checked all of these to make sure that there was no problem with anything binding here. And all of these opened up real nice, so no problems there. I believe this is also part of a, uh, there's a slot on the other side as well. I believe you can use that for a pass-through as well if you're using real thin stuff. Here's the back side of the machine. Uh, you've got a place for your two power cords here. You're going to have one for your laser power supply and another one for the control power supply there. Uh, there's also these spares here, but I don't think anybody uses those. They're uh, kind of uh, off limits is because of the wiring. Nobody really wants to use those. Um, this is the one that's still rubbing a little bit, but I'm going to have to tweak on that a little bit more. But like I said, I checked this out thoroughly and the tube is in good shape. Doesn't seem to be any issues with anything getting pushed. Uh, it was all on these pieces right here. This this corner right here took the bulk of the, the damage. So still need to tweak on that just a little bit. I've already had to uh, kind of take some uh, jack clamps and try to spread this out and get it where I can even get that open like that with the rubbing. But like I said, not a big deal. I think I'll be able to get all that worked out. It does have a six inch uh, fan down here. That is the stock fan. I'm probably, well, not probably, as soon as it comes in, I've got an AC Infinity uh, fan order that should be here in the next couple of days so I will be using that and there's a window right there so I will be venting it out that window and we'll be taking that stock fan out. Okay on the other side again I checked all these to make sure there's no issue with uh, any of these doors so there's the power supply for the laser uh, everything looks in good shape there, you know, just, uh, it's just a shame that, uh, like I said, some idiot with a forklift had to hit just one little spot and he hit it just right to, uh, to cause that, some of that sheet metal damage, but 
not a big deal. I'm an old sheet metal guy anyway, so I can uh, get it straightened out to uh, where it works. One thing I didn't mention, they, I'll be showing in just a little bit the stuff that comes with it. They give you a tub uh, to use for the cooling, but I also have opted to go with the, uh, I think it's the CW5202 uh, chiller. So that's what I'll be going with instead of using the tub. But uh, let me get that out and show you what comes in there. Okay, this is the tub that I was talking about. This, uh, this ships down inside here. And they have a few little accessories uh, that you need to get started. Uh, the tub is to, to, to put the distilled water in to cool it. But like I said, I'm going to be using that chiller, so I won't be using this. But they do include uh, some 6 inch duct that uh, you can use to connect the, uh, your fan with. This is, uh, okay, I see, okay, looks like they've got a wire in case you want to run a separate ground wire. There's a few uh, 6 inch clamps in here for the, uh, the hose ducting there. And also it looks like there's... Uh, some hose for the, uh, which you would run in this tub, or, or it will also work with the uh, chiller. Okay, this I haven't even opened, but it's the uh, small pump. And again, that's if you're going to use the, uh, yeah, it's just the, uh, the small pump, that, the submersible pump that you would put in here if you're going to use this. I'll just leave this in this box because you know how it is. You pull stuff out and you'll never get it back in the box the same way. So I'm just going to leave that in there because I won't be using that. And then they also include this handy little bag that I'm not sure of what's in here. Okay, this I believe is the, uh, it's just a blank, just a blank tube, it doesn't have any label on it, but I believe that is the silicone in case you need to install the laser tube. Mine came pre-installed, so I won't need that at least right away. Here is some uh, tape to use for... Okay, I guess this is to use for uh, the mirrors or checking your beam alignment. Here's a, uh, looks like a Cat5 cable, uh, maybe Cat6, I don't know, but it's for if you want to use an Ethernet connection. Here are some Allen wrenches that come in a handy little, uh, come on, on a ring, looks like. This is uh, another USB cable, and there's also the, uh, a little uh, thumb drive or flash drive in here. And from what I understand, that includes uh, RD Works. Uh, this is a reader controller, and so I'll be upgrading my light burn to use light burn with this. So I probably, uh, I might stick that in there just to see what's on it, but I'm sure I won't be using that stuff. Let's see what else is in here. You've got your two, two power cords, as I mentioned. You've got one for uh, the power supply for the laser itself, and another one for the power supply that turns and runs the controller. This looks like a little uh, tool that you use to unscrew the, uh, the little retainer ring for your lens, I believe that's what that is. It, it looks like somebody's laser cut it out of stainless, so I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Here's another set of keys. Uh, this one set I've already cut off of the where the, uh, the nozzle was, but it uh, looks like they have another set as well as another gauge to set your focus. And of course, I'll be running the test 
to confirm that all that is, uh, is the correct length. And I'm also planning on getting the uh, American Photonics. They have a set where you can just swap them out easily and then the focus is always the same. Uh, it's just much nicer. This, I believe, from the way it feels, let's look and see what's in here. Oh, okay, this looks like a, a spare uh, capacitor or something is what that looks like, I think. I know they would include something like that. And then finally, we have the uh, laser engraving cutting machine manual. So all this should be specific to the AF2435 uh, Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this one's starting to get a little long. And in the next video, I'll be moving this into the uh, spot where I'm going to be putting it per permanently and uh, leveling it up and putting on some of the accessories that I've got coming in. So uh, if you don't want to miss any of that, uh, make sure you're subscribed and also hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. You can bet that there's going to be a lot of laser beam action going on on my channel uh, from here on out. So make sure you're subscribed and like I said, hit that little bell so you get notifications. If you would like to check out an own tech laser just like this one, or one of their other fantastic lasers. I'll have a link down in the description. Uh, and I also have a discount code if should you decide to purchase. Uh, I would appreciate if you use uh, that link and that code so you can get some money off and also let them know that I uh, sent you over there. So uh, anyway, I guess that will do it for this one. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.